the R2 gate system offers you two types of surgical kits. Number one will be the universal type of kit. And what the universal type of kit is, it's essentially a kit that contains drills only up to 2.8 millimeter diameter. So you have the initial and a second drill, 2.0 millimeter drills, 2.5 millimeter drills, and 2.8 millimeter drills. For this kit, disposable drills can be added in order for you to complete the kit. When you add these disposable drills, you can eventually get your kit to look like this, and this is more a complete type of kit. The reason why we have this type of kit is because it's a cheaper solution than a full surgical kit. The other option is a full kit. And a full kit is what we have in front of us right now. And these are the components of the full surgical kit. The initial drill, second drill, guided drills, cortical bone drills, profiler drills, implant carriers, handpiece adapter, ratchet extender, screwdrivers, and a ratchet. The initial drill is what we call the marking drill. It's a very short drill that is used to only mark the position of the osteotomy and then we use it to guide the other drills and the subsequent drills to go in the correct position. The second drill has the same tip as the initial drill, but on top of it, it has this part right here that profiles the cortical bone and it enables you to place the next universal drills very smooth. There is also the cortical bone drills, and these are drills that remove the cortical bone, and you'll find that their names are 3405, 3805. 34 is basically the diameter, so it means that the diameter is 3.4, and 05 means that the length of them is 5 millimeters. So in this case, for instance, this is a 3805 drill, which means that this is a 3.8 cortical bone drill and the length of this drill is 5 millimeters. Please notice that all cortical bone drills are only 5 millimeters in length. Next would be the bone profiler. The bone profiler is a cup-shaped drill and it enables you to remove all the bone interferences on top of the implant for you to be able to place your abutment with ease, whether it was a healing abutment or a final abutment. And now we'll talk about the optional drills. First optional drill is the narrow crest drill. The narrow crest drill is a drill that you usually purchase separately and add into your surgical kit. And what it does is that it transforms cases that have knife edge ridges, like in this case, and it transforms them into a more flat type of bone, and that prevents your drills from slipping on the top of the ridge. It looks like a trefined burr, but the function of it is to flatten the bone so you can easily place your next drills and use them smoothly. Now let's talk about the basic principles of R2 gate drill. Number one, make sure that the cylinder part of the drill, which is this part right here, engages the surgical guide before you press on the pedal and start to use the surgical drills. Number two, make sure that the drilling is passive and make sure that a copious amount of irrigation is going to the drills. I always use the high setting of irrigation just to reduce the amount of heat and friction that might be generated while I'm doing my drilling. The basic drilling steps for the r 2 gate surgical kit is that we increase the length first and then we increase the diameter. So for instance, if I'm going to be placing an 11.5 millimeter implant and let's say my final drill is a 2.8. First, I'll use the initial drill, and then I'll use my second drill, and then I'll start to increase the length and go to the final length. So I'll go with 2.0 by 7, 2.0 by 8.5, 2.0 by 10, 
2.0 by 11.5. And once I reach the final depth, I can go ahead and start to increase the diameter. So then I'll use 2.5 by 11.5, and then 2.8 by 11.5 will be my final drill. Please note that the drills from 2.0 to 4.3, the cylinder or the hub of the drills is 5 millimeters in diameter. While from 4.8 to 5.9 millimeter drills, the hub or the diameter of the drills is actually 6.5 millimeters. So knowing this information, and the question is for Megagen Any Ridge users, what would be the largest diameter any ridge implant that you can place through the regular platform 5 millimeter surgical guide? Well, the answer is 4.5. The reason why is because with the any ridge implants, the widest thread diameter is 0.5 millimeter wider than the fixture at 3.5 and 0.4 millimeter wider than the fixture itself at 4.0 to 8 millimeter. So for example, the 3.5 millimeter implant, the widest diameter is actually four. On the other hand, the 4.0 millimeter diameter, all the way up to the 8.0 millimeter implants, the fixture diameter is plus 0.4. So 4.5 millimeter implant is actually 4.9, and that will be the widest implant that could be placed through the surgical guide. Also knowing this information, what would be the largest diameter any ridge implant that can be placed through the 6.5 millimeter wide platform guide? Again, the answer is six millimeter. So six millimeter any ridge implant is actually 6.4 and that will be the widest implant that could be placed through a wide platform surgical guide. So in essence, the largest implant that can be placed through an R2 gate guide is actually 6 millimeters. 5.0, 5.5, and 6.0 millimeter implant, you will need two guides to place your implant. The first guide, which is the regular platform, will be used for drilling, and a wide platform guide will be used for implant placement. 